Hello and welcome to Andy's Cornish Creations. In this video I'm going to be doing a really simple project and it's a little bird and it's uh, being made out of this block of oak that's uh, two inches by two inches by two and a half inches. Here I've uh, found the centre of the two ends and, uh, and I'm just using the tailstock to press it up against a glue block that's, uh, that's in, the, in the chuck. And now I'm getting some hot glue and just uh, hot glue in the block onto the, onto the glue block. It's a nice way of uh, using a piece without uh, without too much waste. So I've allowed that to dry for a little bit, and now I'm just turning it to round. I'm using a three-eighths inch spindle gouge. Um, of course, you could use a roughing gouge, but. Uh, I'm uh, I like using this one, and, uh, and it's a good way of showing you that uh, you don't need lots of chisels. You can do a lot with just just the one gouge, really. Here, I've got this set, my calipers set, to two inches, which is going to be the height of the bird. And the uh, the extra half inch on the oak is uh, is waste wood. And here I'm marking where the head's going to be, which is about a about a quarter way down from the top of the uh, finished bird. A quarter to a third. But nothing precise, just uh, eye it up as you see fit. Turn the speed up a bit, probably about a thousand, and I'm using a parting tool to uh, define the, the base of the bird. And then the top of the head. This is going to be where the neck is. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here I'm reducing the diameter of the head to about an inch and a inch and a quarter. And then back to the spindle gouge, just to give the head its shape. And then the body, really simple, simple shape, just rounded a little. more or less make it whatever shape you like. Here I'm using a, a square a negative square ended negative rate scraper just to get a nice even cut uh, 
because the spindle gouge does, leave, does tend to leave a few uh, peaks and troughs and this just gives it, keeps it nice and even and same, same with the, same with the head just keep it nice and even I decide that uh, I'm just going to make it a, a ton narrower in diameter and uh, I try not to get too fixated with uh, dimensions I just uh, sort of go with the flow and keep it keep it looking right get quite a nice uh, quite a nice finish from that negative ray scraper but uh, oaks oaks quite good it's a good uh, it does polish up nicely and and you do get a, a good finish on the uh, from the chisel here I'm using a pair of calipers to mark where I want the eyes to be so I just use the point of the calipers just to make a little indentation and then I use a sprung punch to uh, deepen those holes so that uh, it gives my, uh, when I come to drill it, it gives my drill uh, a, a start off so it's not skipping about on the wood. Here I'm using the calipers to try and find the center between the two holes so I bring them in until until it matches. I've got one one end of the caliper in uh, in the eye and the other one making the point and then again with the spring loaded um, punch that gives me the position of the nose. I'm using a small drill I think it's about a two mil two millimeter drill to start off the holes uh, it's, it's better to start it with a small drill because uh, when you start it with the finished hole size it can move to one side and uh, you finish it with the uh, eyes out of alignment and then I'm using a 4mm high speed drill just to make a hole the eye and the nose and the other eye and I like to do it at this stage because uh, as, you see, as you can see there I get a little bit of sort of tear out from the uh, from the drill so if I do the drilling before I do the sanding it does give me an opportunity to uh, to sand over the tear out and leaves me with a, with a much better finish than if I were to do all the finishing and then, uh, and then do the trimming and finish up a uh, tear out that I can't really do much about because it's all finished. Yeah, I'm just parting off the bottom. I've used a skew chisel to give me a nice bottom edge and then the parting tool to, um, to part it off, not completely because I've still got some sanding to do and I do tend to uh, undercut it so that the base sits down nicely uh, when you put it down. So now I'm going to do some sanding and I can go straight to a 180 because the, uh, the finish off the tool is pretty good. So I sand at 180, and then uh, and then that last one was 360, and I've got a pretty good shine on it already. But uh, here I'm using some abrasive paste 
just a shiny took that bit more. Get a clean cloth and take off the excess paste. And you see there, it gives me a quite a nice shine. And then I've got some uh, wax, some homemade wax. And I will actually, I will do a little video. It's a, uh, a YouTube friend of mine sent me some Carnuba wax, and um, and I did uh, I did make some wax, and I've made a little, uh, I've filmed it, so I'll uh, I'll pop that on uh, very shortly. You'll be able to see how I made the wax. Normally it'd be nice to leave that to set for a little bit, but uh, because I'm filming it, I'll just get straight on and buff it up with a nice soft cloth. And there you go. Got a nice shine on it. Okay, here I'm putting some CA glue in the holes for the eyes and I'm going to use the um, black plastic safety eyes for this just for ease of use and uh, if you're batching out a lot of these then uh, it's a great way to do them because the, making the eyes out of wood does take a bit of time it's okay for a one-off but if you're going to make a lot of them it's uh, nice to be able to use these, they look good and they're nice and simple fit the hole perfectly and now I'm able to uh, part it off because I don't need to have it on, on the uh, lathe any longer so there's the parting tool again I'll sand the little uh, nub on the bottom off. Right here, I've got a little piece of uh, I'm not quite sure what it is. Could be um, sapelia or something like that, but it's uh, a slightly darker wood than the oak. And I'm just uh, turning it down to round. It's about it's about 10 mil um, by 10 mil, and it's a. Uh, 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 fairly long piece but it goes into the chuck. So I'm just creating a point on there using the spindle gouge, the 3 8 spindle gouge again. And this is going to be the beak. So I'll just create a nice pointy shape. Use the parting tool to define where the beak stops and also when I'm, I need to reduce the back of it uh, to create a little dowel and, uh, to fit into the hole in the head that I've already drilled. And it's a 4mm hole in the head, so here I'm using one of my uh, sharpened spanners, so, and it's a 4mm spanner, so I know that if I go onto there with that 4mm spanner I've got a perfect 4mm diameter um, little dowel on the back of that beak. Just refining the shape of it a little bit. And then some 1 inch grit sandpaper. Three sixty and 
and then a, a, a little touch of my uh, oh no this one I'm, I'm going up a little bit more this is a 600 grit and that give, does give it a, a really fine uh, shine I think the the um, it's wet and dry actually the wet and dry has got a little bit of uh, wax uh, sort of impregnated on it it's an old piece so it does uh, it does put a bit onto the uh, onto the wood and leaves actually quite a nice finish so now I'm just going to part it off with the uh, with a little half inch skew chisel there I'm just putting a little chamfer on there um, so that it uh, it goes into the hole easier and there just part it off right I've got the uh, got a little beak there I've got some uh, CA glue just pop a little bit on it doesn't need much at all uh, here I throw it around a little bit just for fun and eventually get it into my in between my sausage fingers and uh, I'm able to <laughs> to put it into the hole so there I have it a little bird I think I forgot to uh, film the eyes but uh, putting in the eyes but all it is you can see there are um, the six millimeter um, safety uh, black plastic safety eyes and um, if you're doing if you're doing a lot of these say you're doing I don't know 20 or something like that there's quite a lot of work in doing the eyes by uh, uh, with wood um, and these little plastic ones do save an awful lot of time I know not everybody likes them but uh, but there you go. But I did the uh, I did a little beak in wood, um, which was nice. And uh, yeah, so the woods, oak, uh, two in two inches high, fifty mil, two inches wide, fifty mil, and the um, the heads. Uh, battery just packed up. <laughs> um, yeah, the um, the height of the heads about a a quarter of the way down of the um, of the height. Uh, but you can adjust it but yeah, I think that looks about right at that and um, yeah and you see there um, the heads are a little bit narrower than the uh, than the body which also works it's just got a flat bottom and uh, a really really simple uh, beginner project um, nothing complicated about it a really easy turn uh, the beaks also easy to do especially using a little spanner for uh, to use as uh, creating that uh, dowel so I put a um, put the four mil hole in the in the face and then um, and then the four mil spanner gives me the perfect tenon uh, or dowel to uh, to slot into the hole nice and tight snug fit um, yeah great beginner project if you want to start off making some of these little animals this is probably about the easiest one I think um, up to now and uh, great fun as well and you, uh, these have got to be great impulse buys for a, a craft fair or something like that um, yeah so um, hope you enjoyed the video if you did uh, it's that way give it that thumbs up if you would please uh, and share if you can and um, if you can subscribe that would be lovely uh, we've actually gone over the 10,000 subscribers which is absolutely fantastic I'm uh, really pleased about it and uh, it's all thanks to you guys and, uh, and that's a non-gender guys <laughs> um, uh, yes without, without, uh, without the support I wouldn't. I would never have kept it going this long, and uh, and it's been really, uh, it's been really great, uh, sort of the journey. And uh, so yes, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And um, when you do, ring the little notification bell, and it'll let you know when the next video is coming. 
and um, and there will be one. I'm trying to I'm trying to do uh, at least one a fortnight. Uh, I try to do one a week, but uh, I'm quite busy. I've been very busy with uh, with, with things, life, and um, so uh, I'll, uh, hopefully I'll have a bit of time, especially now winter's coming <laughs> and. Uh, there's less to do in the garden and such like. Anyway, stop waffling. Um, from a, ah, it's been a bit rainy this weekend, this week, and uh, it's dry at the moment, but uh, good times to be in the workshop. So from here in Cornwall, my name is Andy Paramore. This is Andy's Cornish Creations, and uh, I'll see you. On